someone had a question about nutritional yeast on how you would use it in your diet, in your food. So I wanted to create a short video on this topic. First of all, what is nutritional yeast? It's a type of yeast, which is a microbe, which is inactive. It's different than baker's yeast, which is an active yeast. So you don't have to worry about the microbe being alive when you consume it, but nutritional yeast has a lot of nutrition. Uh, we've been consuming this for a very long time. It has a complete amino acid profile. It has tons of minerals, trace minerals. It has antioxidants like glutathione, which is one of the most powerful um, liver antioxidant, and also another powerful antioxidant, selenomethionine. This is a uh, selenium, which is a trace mineral um, enzyme, which actually really helps your immune system. But let's not forget the B vitamins. And this is one of the biggest reasons why I recommend taking a nutritional yeast. But one of the problems consuming B vitamins is that um, the grains are a really good source of B vitamins, okay? But we don't want to consume grains if you're on the ketogenic plan. So what do we consume? Nutritional yeast. It has almost all the B vitamins naturally. So it doesn't have B12 because B12 is made by a bacteria, but yeast actually can make B vitamins. And also realize that a lot of the nutritional yeast products out there are enriched with synthetic B vitamins. And I don't recommend taking them. Uh, it's also, they enrich it with um, a type of iron that you don't want to consume. You want to get unfortified nutritional yeast. Now the product that I have is non-fortified. It doesn't have any synthetic vitamins. And this is one of the reasons why I put on the label that you need a higher dosage because I don't have the synthetic version, which would give you a lot more B vitamins, but those extra B vitamins are synthetic. We want the natural vitamins that are made from nutritional yeast. Now, the taste of nutritional yeast is kind of a slightly cheesy-like uh, flavor. It's kind of nutty. So some people like it and some people don't like it, but I always just tell them it's an acquired taste. You just have to get used to it. Now, the nutritional yeast is different than the yeast extract that you see in the back of the label. And I put a link down below of a video that I did on MSG and glutamate, so you can kind of learn more about that because they use um, yeast extracts in a lot of food products. It's used as a food additive and also food flavoring. And it has glutamate, which is amino acid. But I don't want to get into that because I have a whole video on that topic. What I do want to show you is this. There are types of yeast extracts that have been around for over 100 years um, as different products. And this is just a few of them. Uh, they have a lot more around, used around the world. Vegemite, okay, Australian food spread. And it was created from leftovers from brewer's yeast extract from making beer. And they put it in a spread, and it does have uh, quite a few B vitamins. I think now they do add synthetic uh, B vitamins. I'm not sure if they used them in the past or not. And then you have Marmite, which is a very popular food spread. Either you love it or you hate it. Um, but it was given to the British troops in World War I because they did have a problem with beriberi, which is a vitamin B1 deficiency. And of course, uh, this was also created from the leftover brewer's yeast for making beer. And so they found they, it works out great to give your B vitamins. And then they had another product in the 30s called Tasty Yeast, which is yeast and chocolate. Of course, it had sugar in there, but a lot of people were taking this back in the 30s. Anyway, I wanted just to give you the difference between the different types of yeast. The one that you want to consume would be nutritional yeast. Now, you could also use brewer's yeast itself. Um, it has a similar profile of B vitamins. The problem is it uh, doesn't taste the same. Nutritional yeast is uh, a much better taste. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.